The summits of Sri Lanka are the heart of the island nation. The mountains, giant rocks and waterfalls of Sri Lanka have nourished the ecosystems, wildlife and people of this country for millennia. Discover what inspires us to engineer the future of Sri Lanka. Discover the summits of a nation. The mountains of Dodosbagi and Aranayaka in the Kegol district are a haven of fertility. In these heights, natural springs create small streams that feed waterways that flow downwards, helping all life thrive and creating spectacular beauty. Asopiniel, the falls of the horse's leap. This waterfall is created by the headwaters of Maoel, originating from Raksagala in Dulosbagi. It cascades down more than 100 meters of treacherous incline and it nourishes everything and everyone around it. For 74-year-old Raja, the falls are his muse. Asupini le dia ahabada vada shitina Pinvap shiddha patntini meya vishodanna Vasnaduravayin huba nita rama pudana Maata dinna maata pihi tatnbinna Nobody in the region knows more about this waterfall than him. He is the only person who knows how to scale these precarious heights. Maave matrabanwa janatawa panghitanne kampa district kaegalu district ke megamu district mahanura district me hamu district ke matrabanwa hari ma adambara vidiyata denna bulu wedding dalagena yanna adambara kala sundariya me ुपयाल the waters of Asapinyalda feed Maoe, which helps sustain more than a million people before it flows into the ocean. The falls also help sustain the lives of people and animals. The hills that surround it are home to many villages that get clean water throughout the year from Asapinyalda. The presence of the falls also helps support a lush ecosystem that allows many interesting creatures to thrive. The forests surrounding the falls are a safe haven for some of Sri Lanka's most uncommon birds. For oriental white eyes, the trees surrounding the falls provide a constant supply of food. Hanging parrots live only in Sri Lanka. They too find this habitat very inviting. The colourful crimson-fronted barbet is endemic to Sri Lanka. This one is on a mission to claim some real estate. The tree trunks are also playgrounds for velvet-fronted nuthatches who are quite fond of vertical and upside-down antics. For the rare lesser yellow nape woodpecker, the forests are a great place to live and keep busy. But these holes weren't made by a woodpecker. This is the work of a dusky striped squirrel. This endemic animal is the smallest species of squirrel in Sri Lanka. But its appetite for insects is quite big and it can destroy entire trees by eating through the bark in search for food. Years of living with the falls have made these rocks an extension of Raja's self. He may be 74 years old, 
but he is far fitter than most of his age or even a couple of decades younger. The falls are a very special place and an even more valuable resource. The water from the falls supplies the town of Aranayaka and Asupini water is even sold in shops. Irresponsible travelers bring the greatest threats to the health of this waterfall. But as long as Raja's gaze over these waters remain, the falls have a guardian and its legacy will stay intact.